Hello, this video will review how to use TestGen to create test files for D2L. TestGen is a separate software that um, some test bank publishers use to allow you to create um, quizzes using their test banks. And then you would export it out of TestGen into a zip file that you import into D2L. So TestGen is actually a separate software program that some text ba test bank publishers require that you use to use their test banks to make quizzes. So while you're browsing your test bank publisher's website, you might see that there are instructor resources available, but it uses a program called TestGen. One thing you want to do is to see if a zip file is available that doesn't use TestGen, because in that case, it might be a little bit easier to use. If not, that's okay. We can still use TestGen. So we'll click on TestGen, and it will ask us to um, access the downloadable resources. So we're going to download this. Notice here our options are TestGen for Mac, TestGen for PC, or Blackboard files. Now in this case, since the Blackboard files are available, this is a zip file, it might be easier to try this. Yes, it isn't D2L, but sometimes it'll work, and then that'll actually save you the step of using TestGen. So choose that if it's available. Sometimes the only option is TestGen. So in that case, you want to download TestGen for your computer. So we're going to download this really quick. And when we download it, we see that it is a test bank file. It's going to have this weird looking icon, and that is an icon for TestGen. So now that would allow us to open up this test bank file within TestGen. The second thing is, so you have to have the TestGen software on your computer. Sometimes there will be a link to download TestGen itself. In this case, there was just a link to download the test bank for TestGen. So in this case, if we didn't have TestGen on our computer, we would need to go ahead and download it. So I did a quick Google search of download TestGen, and it brought me to this website, and now I just need to download TestGen itself. So you want to download the desktop application, and we want to download it for the PC. So again, this is more or less a software that is going to install on your computer to allow you to manipulate the um, test bank that goes with TestGen, and then you'll be able to import that into D2L. So we go through the process of installation. So once it downloads, you can open TestGen on your computer, and you see it's going to look like a software. So at that point, we're going to um, pull in our test bank for the uh, for the course that we just downloaded. So one way to do that is to browse for other tests and it will open up our test gen folder and you might see one that is there that you need to use. If not, we can go back to where we just downloaded it a few minutes ago. And so here it is and we can open that and when we go to open it, it's going to open it up within test gen for us. So now you see that the test bank has been added in and we're able to see that it has numerous chapters. So first we want to create a web test. So we're going to go to web test and we're going to choose we want to make it for desire to learn. So from there you kind of see you have a split screen. We have our test bank here and then we have our um, components over here. So from here what we'll do is we'll go through and we'll just pick the questions we want. So we kind of just drag and drop them over is essentially what we're doing. So we can kind of cherry pick the ones that we want. We can come in, maybe we're making this out of chapter two. We can cherry pick the questions that we want. So we can continue to add these in. And what we might even do is add in more questions than we actually um, intend on doing. So maybe I wanted, say, a, a five-question test, but maybe I add in ten questions. So once I finish making my test, I want to be able to export it. So I'm going to make sure that my test is selected. I'm going to choose File, Export. And I'm going to choose to export it as D2L, because I want this to be in a D2L format. So I can save it to my desktop. I can name it whatever I want. And now it's going to be in a zip file on my desktop. The next step is to import it into D2L. 
So I log into D2L, I go to More Course Admin, Import Export Copy Components, and I'm going to import that zip file into D2L. So import, and I'm going to find that zip file and import it right into D2L. So now in D2L, it may come across in the quizzes area as untitled, and that's okay because we can edit that. So we'll choose Edit, and then you'll be able to see the listing of the questions. So it moved over those 10 questions. Now, what if we would like to make a, quiz, a question bank or a question pool to where maybe there's five questions in the exam and, or there's 10 questions in the exam and they're only getting five. So in that case, we need to do a little bit of work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, first of all, let's rename this to something that we can work with. And then we're gonna go back to the quizzes area and choose question library. Then we're going to create a new section, and we'll name this whatever we need to, AMP Chapter 1. Then we're going to click on that section, so AMP Chapter 1, and we're going to import questions and browse existing questions. From there, we can come over and choose whatever test. So in this case, this is the test that we just renamed AMP1. Um, it was the one that we un that was originally untitled and came over from our zip file from TestGen. So we'll do that. We'll select all 10 items. And we're going to copy them into our question bank. Now I'm going to go back to quizzes. And I'm actually going to delete out this entire quiz. I don't need it anymore. Now I'm going to make a new quiz. I'll name it AMP Chapter 1 Quiz or whatever you want to name it. Add Edit Questions. New Question Pool because we're making a question pool. Browse Question Library. And we're going to pick from the section we just made, which is AMP Chapter 1. So I want to select all of those. It's going to pull in all 10. Maybe I only want five. And maybe there are five points apiece or whatever you want them to be. And save. Then we'll choose Done Editing Questions. And now you see we've, we're getting five out of the 10. So again, I know it was a cumbersome process. Basically, you had to download TestGen, make your quiz in TestGen, put over the amount of questions you wanted, so put all that you wanted in the question pool, import that into D2L, that made a quiz, but it had all the questions. So then we had to move the questions from the quiz into the question library, make a whole new quiz, make a question pool, and then pull in the questions we wanted to. So it sounded like a complicated process, but actually it wasn't that many steps. From here on out, as we have before, you want to continue setting up your quiz. So you want to go to the restrictions. You want to make sure you have a start and end date that you connect it to. You make it active, that you click in the display and calendar. You give it a time limit, prevent the students from making further changes so that it basically freezes the exam. Make sure to make your grading sandwich. So you want to make sure that you choose the two check boxes and that you make a grade item for it. So make sure that the grade item is there. Make sure that this matches, the max points matches the maximum you can make on the exam and make the grading sandwich. So at that point, we've completed making the quiz from using the test gen.